Hey, it's Kevin DeWitt here. Welcome back to the Pasties Prime YouTube channel and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Now, in the last video, we finished uh, the... What's it called? Sin and Sacrifice? There it is. Sin and Sacrifice DLC. And now, well, by the order listed here and by the order I've looked up online, we are ready for Resurrection. And it's going to be interesting because as far as I can tell, we're going to have to basically start from scratch, I would imagine, because we've lost everything. We gave up everything in the last, uh, well, in the last DLC. So, uh, I get a feeling this actually is the start of season two, I believe, because they had like season one DLC, uh, download pack or whatever it is. I don't know what you call those things subscriptions whatever uh and then i think this is the first one of season two but i'm not 100 percent sure on that because i got all of this together but regardless of that we're going to play resurrection so we have to start a new game because it is entirely new and we're going to go resurrection Uh, previous save games have been found would you like to import fleets and other information from previous save games Yes, I would. Okay, here we go. Resurrection. The following resources will be imported. Ah, okay. So we can't get fleets and officers. We can't get Tylium and requisition points. I had so much Tylium. Oh, no. But we can have unlocked blueprints and codex intelligence. Okay, well, I would assume we'll import from uh, Sin and Sacrifice because there was probably some blueprints in there, wasn't there? Okay, so uh, we're playing as Commander. That's the middle of the road. I don't know why it keeps dropping down to Lieutenant. Okay, so commander means what? Uh, no persistent damage. Colonial and Cylon capital ship crews gain experience with every battle they survive. Okay. I can't remember what that setting was, if it was even in the other ones, but it's default for Commander, so let's go. Previously on Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Lachesis is rerouting all of its forces to Helios Alpha. PyCon is already at breaking point, and Geminon was ready to roll over the moment when Nutu signed the treaty. The Cobal Alliance has ratified the ceasefire with Cylon Command. The peoples of Helios Gamma, Delta, and Beta will see no more violence from today. It was not supposed to happen like this. You have to understand, I never intended for them to go this far without you. You should have told me. You've sacrificed one third of the colonies. And for what? It is one year that can be used to negotiate a lasting peace. We tried our best to make colonial fleet work, but you can't be blamed for the weakness of others. We've got problems with our FTL computer. I think the Cylons have got into it somehow and Tech can't flush them out. We can't make the jump. Galactica repeat. I didn't hear that right. I'm sorry, Lena. You need to go. We'll catch up. Colonial fleet. This is Daedalus Actual. The station has been evacuated, and Daedalus Fleet Group is dismissed. I am stepping down from command. Colonial Fleet is effectively dissolved. Go. Protect your families. Protect our people. You shouldn't die here for my mistakes. Lords of Kobol guide you. There's not much you can do about a knife in the back. Struggle, you make it worse. Leave it, and you'll bleed out. 
Best case scenario, someone takes the knife out and helps you back up. Except for you're still bleeding. And now you got another son bitch running around with a knife. The ceasefire lasted the full year that Lapsus has agreed to. No longer, no less. The exact minute the agreement expired, Cylon fleets attacked the Cobalt Alliance colonies. We fought back where we could. Had some hard years grounded before we got Colonial Fleet back in the air. Then we went and retrieved Galactica. Pulled her right out of the water where we left her and spent the last year building her back up. Colonial Fleet is now a branch of the Ministry of Defense, reformed by the people who've been fighting the ground war since Caprica City was first bombarded. Jubal Sarkis leads the Fleet Admiralty, and he's made sure the Quorum knows its place this time around. Without Colonial Fleet, there is no war, no resistance, and no freedom. Galactica has been reinstated to the head of BSG-75, under my command. We are, once again, one of many in the shield against the Cylon. We have a second chance, and bear the full weight of the Twelve Colonies. From today, we do not lose to the Toasters. Okay, what an intro, eh? Welcome aboard Galactica, Commander. Not sure that it lives up to the Daedalus CIC. Comfort wasn't our priority in getting this bird farm back in the air. Take a moment to familiarize yourself. CIC briefing is at the top of the hour. Oh, okay, looks a bit different. Probably should have expected that. What have we got here? Okay, all right, obviously we've got a new person in charge, a new person reading the story. As the operational commander of the Battlestar Galactica, you have control of BSG-75 and its auxiliary fleet crews. So otherwise it looks fairly similar, slightly different. Open the fleet tab in the strategy index. Only a limited number of fleets will be displayed on the table at any one time. You can toggle a fleet by clicking the colonial seal next to their status. Unused ships can be traded for resources with the colonies. Oh, okay. That's something new. What do, you, what do you want me to do? Click it. Oh, you want me to trade it. Why Why would I trade it? You just gave it to me. Trade Rainier Adamant. Uh, do you really want me to do this? I don't understand why you want me to do this. Are you forcing me to, or can I have a choice? We have space here. For what? Uh, a 1250. Well, we actually have space for both of these ships. Oh, okay, I didn't trade. So, does that mean I don't need to? <laughs> Did I just break the game? Okay, what's this home? Can 
Can I actually get to the deck? What's all this other stuff around here? So I can look around, but I can't do anything. Okay, so we've got build ships. Okay, so we've got all we've got all the ships back. Uh, unfortunately, we have seven thousand tolium and twenty one fifty. No, forty five hundred. There we go. Officers, we have uh, Silas Nash, who is our officer. The hell is strategy? Oh, okay. So home just, um, that's a bit weird. This is our threat level. Threat level zero. Minus at one FTL jump cooldown. Minus 10% asylum reinforcement risk, whatever it is. We've got all our blueprints. They... I don't know if it's me, but it seems very bright and oversaturated. Compared to the last one. Okay, we've got all those. Uh, okay, there must be something new coming. Okay, so what do we do? Do we just go straight for a mission? So we only have two sectors now, instead of four. This is as simple as it gets, Commander. Ministry wants these toasters knocked out before they cause any more grief for the sector. Colony government is offering a good bonus on the objective, too. 1400 tolium, 400 point, 400 requisition points. What the hell's this stuff? Scouting options. Okay. Ministry has decided it's time for this colony ship to join the big leagues. Unfortunately, the Cylons don't agree, and they've ambushed the ship on its way to reassignment. We need to intercept and protect Colonial Fleet's newest asset. I, yeah, I don't really know what these... As if we don't already have enough to deal with, a bunch of pirates have been hassling civilians passing through this sector. Ministry wants us to clear them out. That way local forces will only have one problem to deal with. Okay, so I'm assuming we would... we It'll cost us this to... To get this intel? And it increases our chance of success or something? I don't know. Somehow we've kept this whole Galactica refit away from Cylon Intel. As much as I'd like to enlighten them, over half this crew has rotated in from outside of BSG-75. Admiralty wants marks on the board before we risk our people out on the front line. If you would, Mr. Singh. Sir, a Cylon recon group in the Barry Center almost outed us a few times while Galactica was being put back together. Our first live operation is to remove the scout fleet from the Caprica Geminon binary. Commander, I know you being here may muddy the waters. Some of the old crew still hold you and Kane accountable for what happened to us at Caprica. But Sarkis wants Galactica back in Colonial Fleet, and I need your experience on this deck. Mr. Singh, all orders from the operational commander are heard as if they come out of my own mouth. Understood? Yes, sir. Battlestar Group 75 is ready when you are, Commander. Okay, so this requires the presence of Galactica at the mission marker, which we are obviously not there. Solon threat will increase by 10 upon completion of this mission. 
Okay, so now how... So if we want to jump... We've got a free jump. I don't understand. So you just, you can't just go to planets. You have to go to something. And you can go to any of them. Okay. Well. Uh. But, hang on. As if we don't already have enough to deal with, a bunch of pirates have been hassling civilians passing through this sector. Ministry yeah, wants us to clear them out. That way local forces will only have one problem to deal with. I didn't need to hear again. So does that not increase the Solon threat? Okay, that's sort of confusing me. Let's go there and see what happens. Um, should we start building other fleets? Don't know because we don't really have much in the way of power, do we? I'm so used to uh I'm so used to uh having tons of money now. It's hard to start again. Alright, let's go and well let's just give our hand it a battle, eh? I remember how much trouble I had when I first started the game in the first place and uh, I guess I'm not looking forward to being in that same position where I have the same sort of trouble. Whereas before, uh, you know, I got to the end where I was sort of more comfortable. But that's because I had everything I needed. What is that? That is an Atlas carrier. Okay, whoops. Hang on, let's just get you out of the way first. Alright, let's get you. We'll get you low. Okay, then we've got... What else have we got? We've got the Atlas. Hang on, I'm going to bring you forward because we're going to do flak with you. Bring you up a little bit. The Minotaur here up a bit. Adamants. Uh, no, actually not quite so high. I don't know. I'm making this up because this is not my usual configuration. And we're back to using Manticores. You guys go up high. Alright, now. Um, do we get free resources like we did with Daedalus? Or is everything now cost us money? Two raptors? Everything costs us money. Damn it. That's really annoying. Okay, uh, I want to guide it on you, please. Top and Go tops on both of you guys. Alright, let's see if this is gonna be a disaster. Prepare to jump in three, two, one.
Dreadus contacts, colonial IFFs. Everyone is expired or forged. All marks have been painted hostile. Painted hostile, okay. Uh, start turning. Yes, Commander. Launching Launch fire. squadrons. Focus fire on the first one. Let's go. Action station set condition one throughout the ship. Weapons free and by the numbers, folks. Trying to hit a rock here. Geez, they're low. Holy heck. Okay. We better come down a lot. Okay. Um So I'll just get them to go Yes sir towards the first one. Go have you guys move more forward. Um how fast are they? I mean we could torp. Salvo launch ready. both manticles what did I expect okay well so we've got some guided missiles we can go with there yeah that's really annoying you don't have any missiles uh, let's go to attack yeah let's get them all on attack okay let's get Yeah, all right. You guys go for that, and then I'll get you go for that one. So you're firing. You can't, obviously. I might get you two to shoot at that one. Okay, uh, let's get you guys here, let's get you turned a bit more, and drop, I probably should have excluded the manticores from that move, but I didn't. So say we all. All right, let's go. We're going to hammer the frackers till they can't get back up. Squadron is taking fire. Yeah, it's fine. They're allowed to take fire. It's the point, isn't it? Drop again. Now, you get your flak on. Not much else to do, really. Target is three, four by six, two. Okay, that got hit. Are they all manticores? Oh, they are. Oh. Okay. I'm on it, Commander. Uh, 
Uh, focus fire on that one. I've got this at your focus fire. Okay, anybody have a shot? Anybody missiles? Any missiles? No, along for the day of a ranger. Switching goes the manual. Okay, there's another one down. That's secondary battery. Full attack mode. Fire at will. Uh, you go for Missile that one. Prepped. You go for that one. Salvo launch ready. Uh, we'll get all of you. Focus for on that one. Ah, uh, yeah, you go for that. You go for the back one. Okay, you can do a missile. Hang on, what's the health? Oh, it's got good health, okay. Yep, alright, so you do missile at the front one. That's all we got. Oh, that was They're good. Breaking. Push the line. That was very good. Very good indeed. Focus fire on that one. Focus fire on that one. I don't think I need to do much, to be honest. Just drop you down, yes, drop Commander. you down. I just don't want to hit those. I don't want to hit that, that's for sure. Because that would be bloody annoying to get to all this trouble and then hit that. That's right, Rector, that's right. It's dead. Okay, nice All way to warm up. Are dark. This was never gonna feel good, Commander. It doesn't make sense. Fighting each other when there's actual killer toasters that want us all dead. Yeah, it's what happens, buddy. Alright, let's view the replay. Action station, set condition one throughout the ship. Weapons free and by the numbers, folks. Green so it seems the combat system hasn't been changed, at least. Uh, nothing obvious. We're gonna hammer the frackers till they can't get back up. Target is 3 4 by 6 2. That was a good hit, that one. Switching goes the manual. That's secondary battery. Full attack mode. Fire at will. Reloading! They're breaking. Push the line. That's right, Cracker. That's right. All right. Well, at least we started off with one slight success. Unfortunately, we've got Cylons here. Now, this is what I don't know how that works. So they've moved up to seven. So I don't understand this 
what's this marker here at 100? Or is that saying that's where they are? I don't quite get that. So there's a new thing here or here, one of the two. I can't remember which ones I looked at. Okay. What I want to look at is, okay, what's our fleet? What would we like our fleet to be? Because we have 8,000 points, so this could be our ultimate. I'm not a big fan, to be honest, of the Atlas. It's got no, no torps or missiles, anything, which is not good. Um, that's a Manticore. I would prefer a Ranger for sure. Now, I'm trying to think of the layout I had. I had two Rangers, a Manticore and two Adamant. Is that right? No, I had a bloody... No, I had a... Um... Artemis. Hang on, has that gone up in value? 2,500? Have they changed the values? Or was that always 25? No, it wasn't 2,500, was it? Oh, that makes it very hard to fit in then, doesn't it? Because Galactic... Are they all that price? No, see, 2150. There you go. So, why is Galactica worth more? What's so bloody special about Galactica? Hmm. Actually, I think it had two Raptor squads, didn't it? I think it did. So, maybe it actually is enhanced. They have improved it. Still only had one missile bay, though. Okay, so. If it's 2,500, that really changes everything because I don't even think I could get an Artemis in with it. Oh, man. Okay, what I need to do is I need to do some maths here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Let's, let's do some thinking here. I want to work out what my perfect combination with Galactica would be, right? So we've got 8,000 minus 2,500. I mean, instead of an Artemis, we could... No, because then we don't get any Vipers. I was going to say we could go with the gunship, but we don't get any Vipers. Or missiles. That's probably why it's gone with the Atlas. To compensate. Okay, so I think I just... I think I'm going to have to live with that. So I think... They've gone with an Atlas. So let's... Mm, minus 1100... Now, we know we've got a Manticore in there, so that's minus 900. Okay, we've got 3,500 left. Now, if I wanted to put in two Rangers... 950 minus 950... Leave 1,600. It does. It leaves 1,600. Okay, so you could... You could have two adamants and get rid of the two manticores if you want to add two rangers in. So we could add two rangers to the current layout we have. It will actually leave a little bit spare, but... Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab... We're going to go with two rangers. Now, what we're going to end up with is what? What are we going to take out? We're going to take out two manticores. So, based on that, how much does one of these cost? Let's do a Jupiter. 
all right because we can put the the two manticores with the jupiter and slowly build up now here's the thing what i don't know previously all ships came out of the daedalus where do they come out now do they come out just on the side of the board? Do they come out where Galactica is? BSG-75? That is going to be the question. So, do we go and do a story now? Or do we not? Because it costs a damn fortune. I forgot about this. This is so much harder. Uh, geez, okay. I mean, it's 140. I mean, this mission marker is not even on a planet. So, do we have a... Do we have a quorum? We don't have a quorum. So, how are we making money? Are we only making money from fights? I don't know. Let's go. Okay. Let's uh, proceed. Alright. So I'm assuming it remembers our layout, does it? It does. So why? It's interesting. So the supply cost dropped. So what? So you don't pay all the time. So once you've retrofitted the Mark Twos into your fleet. As long as you didn't lose them or something, you don't pay again. But you're paying for torps because they get used. I don't know. Something like that. I mean, it makes sense. If you didn't lose your fighters, three, what do you have to pay for two, them? One. I mean, I guess if we lose them, we probably have to. Maybe. I guess we'll... See as we go. Jump complete. Dreadus contacts bearing 025 Karim 006. Cylon IFFs confirmed. Engage with the toasters. Not a single one of them gets to run back to Gemini. This is a cakewalk, people. We do our jobs, we kill the enemy. We live up to the name of Galactica and Colonial Fleet. You take it from here, Commander. Okay. Uh, all right, so we've got three out here, and we've got three here, so let's... Uh, let's... What's the height? Now, yeah, low again. Okay, let's start by turning... We'll tackle this direction first, I think. Let's so drop... Let's go defense, focus fire on the first one, yes, launch sir. all squadrons, and in the turn. What do we got? Phobos. We're gonna the so they can't get nemesis and Nemesis. Okay, Raider just came out of that. 
Uh, what 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 happened over here? Should we go and detect the those or concentrate on them first? I'm thinking let's concentrate on this. Let's yes, get sir. rid of that. Fire missiles Salvo at laundry. that. You also fire at that. And you. Fire at that one. Okay. I'm not going to worry too much about that yet. We might put. Oops. No, no, no. Put them all into attack. Got it. Okay, let's go. Bogey in my kill slot. Take care of my tail. Take it down. Take it down. Watch your six. Squadron is taking fire. Hey, Commander. Is it true you were one of the last people off the data list before? You know, all of that. Now is not the time for backstory, Mr. Singh. Just saying, sir. Feels good to have another bona fide chrome buster on deck. You should have seen this crew before. We've got a roster to fill, so I'll recruit all the experience I can. Back to the task at hand, Lieutenant. Yeah. I didn't realize you guys were just going to run through some general chit chat through the game. Uh, all right. I might come up a bit now. Now, you guys are supposed to be going this way. I'm going to actually talk. And you're also going to talk that guy. Gonna take more than that. Missiles incoming. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. This is what we Damn do. it, I wish I had to put the flag on. Well, I think they missed. And the Phobos is gone. Okay. Uh, yeah, can't quite grab that much. All right, focus fire on the Nemesis. Uh, you guys are still... Well, it looks like you're all going to target that. Uh, yeah, all right, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you. I'm not going to stop you. No, it wants to grab them all. Probably should put my flak on. Just want to make sure that's not going to hit. No, it's not. And anyway, we should... Uh, yes, Commander. Speed these guys up a little bit. Okay, let's go. No, oh, that one's down. Target acquisition maintained. Okay, go on. Missiles incoming. Yeah, we need to think about turning around, guys. Okay. All right, so let's turn. Let me just have a look. Where are they heading? So they're heading sort of down. So actually, we should we would probably be better. 
Let's go down. I need you to turn your flak off. I need you guys. Uh, you go get that. Uh, you... Come up. And you turn and come up. We're not going to hit anything, are we? No, it doesn't look like it. Ah, uh, we need them all. Focus fire on that first one there. Man, yeah, let's go. Whoops. Yeah, you got hit a bit. Oh, Manticore's getting hit now, that's not good. Manticore is taking damage. Okay, um... Don't really like risking you guys. Okay, let's turn. Let's go back I'm on up Commander. a bit. Um, okay. We'll continue there. I don't know. I'm just wondering. I don't know how your rear got hit. But your bottom did. Can we come lower? Where are these going? Eat this, Tosa. Turkey left, one lower two. I'm committing. Missiles incoming. Shot by point zero six. Jeez, this adamant is taking a whipping. Okay, he's lost both sides. <laughs> Maybe you should get out of there. Or at least turn your back. I want you guys to keep going. Uh, okay, we can see a nemesis. All right, here we go. It's not really going to help us. We don't know what these are. You have missiles. That uh, torps. Yes, All commander. Right. That one. I'm gonna fire that it. back one in case it's a slow. Okay, now you can at least fire at that. Uh, adamant. Yeah, you can also fire at it. And you can fire at it. Alright, you guys. Alright, what I'm thinking. Let's actually get you to the back one. I'll leave you on that. a lot of bloody missiles coming. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, that's almost dead. That's another nemesis.
I mean, it's actually... Uh, no. It's actually a stupid position because... We can't shoot. We're too low. So it's like, what's the point? IFFs have come back hostile. Missiles to, incoming. To Phobos. And... Oh, come on. Yeah, they all missed. That's good. I like that. I'll just leave you alone now. Okay. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Can't see. Did we get rid of one? Did we? Focus far on the nemesis. System repairs. Underway. Okay, you're all going for that. You guys have missiles, don't you? Yeah, you do. Missile you shoot, prepped. Shoot your missiles. Forgot that you guys have missiles. She go for the Phobos with that. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that actually. Incoming. Subsystem is back online. Oh, Medicore took a bit of a beating there. Front took a lot. Okay, nothing in there to do. Yeah, you're just cruising off. So say we all. Okay, I didn't mean that. Whatever I did then, I did not mean it at all. Got it. Focus fire there. Okay, you do have missiles. So shoot at that one. Uh, nobody else does. Okay, are you going to survive? Maybe. Um, you're right. In front, well, your front's still good. Ah, right, let's just go with that. Oh, now you're gonna hack me. Come on. The hell's that noise? Get hit, are we? Got Hope it. Not. Oh, here we go. We could top. Top, top, top. Alright. Oh. Reaching bingo fuel. Yeah, yikes. On me. Oh, missed. Missed, missed, missed. And he's gone. All marks down. Fleet is cleaning up and preparing to muster out. Galactica's back in action, sir. Toasters don't know what's coming for them. Don't get cocky, Lieutenant. We've still got a whole war ahead of us yet. All right, let's uh, watch the replay. We're going to hammer the frackers so they can't get back up. Oh, yeah. 
my kill squad. Take care of my tail. Take it down. Take it down. Watch your six. Gonna take more than that. Yeah, that <laughs> This is what we do. Got a little bit excited there. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. God damn it! They got me! Target locked and firing! I'm hit! I'm hit! I'm hit! Eat this poster! 50 left, one lower two. I'm committing. Adjusting shot by point zero six. Fire! Set secondary battery. All attack mode. Fire at will. Switching gun to manual. Did he somehow jump forward to dodge the missiles? Kind of. Phobus do that. Incoming. Can it do micro like FTLs? I can't knock out the final interference. Okay, so mission one successful. Unfortunately, the silent threat now has jumped up to 21. So we have another mission. Okay, it's been a while. What is this? Admiral, welcome aboard. Thought I'd get a bit more time before you came with the leash. Silas, good to see you back on your feet. How's she handling? Still rough around the edges, but better than expected given the timeline. Mr. Quaid's lived up to his end of the bargain. Guess that means we have to live up to ours. We can let him stew on Vergon for a little while longer. He hasn't earned his chance at a new life just yet. It is good to see Galactica back in the sky. It means a lot to the people back home. It means something to those of us still here as well. Though, I'm surprised Larson didn't ask you for a ground transfer at the Ministry. After she personally pulled you out of the ocean? We both know the first sergeant would be your XO if we could prize the rifle out of her hands. Eleanor Larson isn't going anywhere. Semper Fidelis to the grave. And Agathon didn't come with you. She is still active, I assume. The Praetor's needed elsewhere. If you feel your crew is ready to turn around, I've got another outing we could use you at. But I'd understand if you opt for shore leave first. Go visit your boy. Looks like he's grown since you were last. We're ready now. I'll have the CIC cleared for your briefing in 20. So the two sisters are both alive by that. Interesting. I'm sure Eleanor was the other one. Because the ending of the last one gave you a vague... You weren't quite sure if she survived or not. She was obviously fighting. You, you, there was, you know, a cutscene. Cutscene. An image of her fighting. Uh, so I figured she lost, but obviously not. Um, yeah, so they're both still alive, so I'm uh, wondering, will they appear back in the story at some point? Or have we decided to uh, get rid of them? Oh, okay, that's good. So they uh, sort of make it transparent there a bit so that you know that you've already played it. That's nice. Now that's interesting. So we paid to FTL jump to that mission marker. Yet we're still... 
Where's the other thing gone? Okay, this is really confusing. So we didn't have to go to where the story was. The story is just sitting in the middle. We haven't moved to any... Does that mean we never move to a planet? So do we just basically stay here all the time and we just jump to wherever we want to go to fight anything we want to? And why is there suddenly nothing over here? And that swooshing noise is probably going to drive me insane on this ship. Oh, God. Yeah. That, that might just drive me nuts. But anyway. So we already are in strategy, that's right. Can we turn the swooshing off, please? <laughs> Isn't there a silence for the swooshing? Uh, okay, yeah, I'm not understanding this layout, to be honest. I don't quite get it, but... Um, I guess we'll just go with what we go with. And I don't know whether this ship ever moves or it just stays where it is and targets what it needs to target. Uh, I know it said about hiding things, but there's nothing to hide because we only have one fleet at the moment. Anyway, uh, we're going to call it there. It's been a good introduction to the new DLC. And uh, hopefully it's enjoyable for the rest of it. But time will tell. So hopefully you liked it. And if you do like what I'm doing and you want to support the channel, uh, check the description below. You'll see there's a link to buy me a virtual coffee if you so choose. It just helps out the channel. Keeps me going, that sort of thing. Keeps me buying games and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, but uh, don't feel you need to. It is just, uh, you know, if you would like to support the channel, it would be very much appreciated. Uh, like the video, give it the thumbs up. That would be very helpful in the YouTube algorithm world. And subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I release a new video. And most importantly to me, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this DLC. Obviously, please don't give me spoilers. Um... I want to enjoy this as I go. Uh, so you can give me tips, you can give me advice, but uh, please don't give me spoilers. Or, you know, if you want to explain something here that I'm not getting, uh, the layout, the new features or anything like that, feel free to put it in there. Uh, if you want to talk about any other game as well, just put it in the comments. I read all the comments and I answer every comment that warrants an answer as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.